What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day so far. So today I wanted to share a simple exercise that I call a merengue exercise. And I think you guys are gonna love it. You already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. Welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but had to welcome you to the channel. And I do hope you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And I normally upload videos that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, all the comments, sharing my videos, man, reaching out to see if I'm okay. Kind of behind, I checked my, my messages, my Facebook messengers, kind of crazy loaded, but yeah, I'll get back into it, man. I really do appreciate just, just all the love, man. Gotta love it. So today I wanted to share an exercise that I had on my list of exercises to share and I just haven't shared it yet. And it's a merengue exercise. Literally, it's something that the tambora does in a merengue group and uh, really wanted to share this. You wouldn't normally do this like in an actual group, but I think it's beneficial to learn when it comes to independence and knowing timing and spacing. In this exercise, you could do it on two or three congas. You could try to do it on one, but it just sounds so much better with two or three. But yeah, let me get into it so you guys can see this craziness. You gotta love it. And it can go faster than that and it's kind of crazy but yeah let me show you what i'm doing so to kind of get the concept of the time what i do i just do one two three four and what i'm doing is just close palm slaps here in the middle of the drum but that's just for me to get the concept of the time of how i'm going to establish this exercise the actual exercise the way i started is i started with one close palm slap with my non-dominant hand on the conga then an open with my dominant hand on the conga. Then I go back and do a close pop slap with my non-dominant hand on the conga. So it's gonna sound like this. And just to give you a clue, this non-dominant hand does not go anywhere. It's what's giving you the time. It does not go anywhere. It wants to go on a vacation, it can't. It has to stay right there, it does not move. After doing that closed palm slap with my non-dominant hand, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an open with my dominant hand on the tumba. So to put that together. Now this is where we get the kind of accented open that we do here again this does not go anywhere this is what's giving you the time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a, another palm close slap with my non-dominant hand and then immediately i'm going to do an open with my dominant hand on the gong so it's going to sound like this so to put that together And then to finish it all off, I'm just going to do another closed palm slap with my non-dominant hand on the conga, and then I do an open on the tumba with my dominant hand. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put everything together, it's gonna sound like this. Not to play it all the way through.
it's crazy. But if you see, that non-dominant hand does not go anywhere. And that extra little accented kind of makes it a little bit tricky when it comes to just the flow of things. But man, it's a great exercise to work out. And if you wanted to add a third drum, basically what you're going to do, you know that open, the open that you do that's super accented, the slap, which I think is the third close slap before counting it, that's going to be an open. So you're gonna replace that with one open on your third drum. So it's gonna sound like this. Literally, just by changing that close slap and making it an open on your third drum makes it so much more melodic and adds a little bit more accent and difficulty because you're now kind of extending yourself to a different place. So it makes a little bit more work in regards to your non-dominant hand because you're going from a palm close slap to an open back to another palm close slap. So it's just something, you know, these exercises are meant to kind of mess with your mind and mess with your hands at the same time to help you develop a little bit more independence and strength. So to play that all the way through, it's gonna sound like this. Now to count it super slowly for you guys, I'll do both. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. 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 Very simple, man. And you could take this and run with it, man. As long as you're keeping this flat, straight in time, this is what you're you're just constantly doing. You can improvise and do craziness with your dominant hand while this one is going. So to give you an example of that, anywhere with that and that's kind of the point that's why you gotta love it it's an exercise it's meant to challenge you it's meant for you to kind of get creative with it and make it your own that's that's not that's kind of the thing you want to make these exercises your own and do it at your own pace but i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think comment down below don't forget to like the video and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one have a great day